Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Another team of the year has gone by. We've got the midfielders now in packs, but today we're talking about packs once again because these are packs that everybody's been looking forward to and they're the packs that we're going to be opening for the next two weeks on this game to try our best to pack team of the year cards. So we're going to talk about what's coming today for content and what happened yesterday with a big time icon player pick SBC that is impacting the market. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about the content yesterday, starting with a little objective related to gameplay. I feel like during team of the year, I'm never super motivated to do a lot of gameplay because it's all about the menu craft, right? The packs, the SBCs, with everything that's out in that part of the game. I feel like my gameplay grind is lacking which right now I've only played like four games a week in league so I'm very behind but we had a team of the year draft play objective which this is a W right especially because team of the year cards are in draft so if you want to go check out draft you can just play one game you get a draft token and then you can get a draft token through SBCs now for a simple 7,000 coin SBC which is very nice uh, because draft is 15k and the SBC is 7k so it's like half off draft with extra objectives with these objectives you do get yourself a doom freeze card some extra packs for playing games only all you have to do is play six games to get this 89 rated Dante card which doesn't look that crazy but nice dynamic image Brazil League One links and um, 89 defense and 89 physical is actually pretty solid at the very least an 89 rated fodder card which I guess you could turn into the duplicate exchange for 51 gold players if you really wanted to but it's nice to have a little bit of extra gameplay grind here and again the biggest draw to draft 100% is the fact that team of the years are in draft and uh, that you could try those cards out without having to spend millions on the market to get those cards. Now let's talk about other SBCs from yesterday, other content from Sunday. Alex Morgan Moments with the Finesse Plus. This is a good card, okay? I know a lot of people are not going to like this SBC. This one, of course, being American, is one that I will definitely get done. But she's also a very meta striker. And we talked about that when it was leaked. This card, at least, as a flashback, now changed to a moments as it's been dropped in the game. Four-star, five-star, really good shooting stats. The balance stat is what everybody is pointing at, right? 70 balance, not good. 56 aggression, not good as well. But 93 stamina, 96 jumping, 97 finishing. With 94 composure, pretty solid passing stats in the short and long pass categories as well. Finesse Shot Plus, what else do you need to say, right? Trivella as well, Power Shot, and Tiki Taka, and Rapid. So, a really interesting card, and also a bit of an interesting price. 500k now that Fodder has gone up a good amount. Also requiring three informs, which was a bit random. Uh, but she is 92 rated, and it is out for 30 days. So if you want to get this one done, you can go ahead and do that. I would say that it's not impacting the market a lot. But actually, I'd have to eat my words if I was saying that because I was just taking a look at some strikers like Julian Alvarez. Yes, we had that icon player pick SBC uh, drop some cards prices yesterday. But like he's still low, 317,000 coins. And then I also noticed as I was clicking through Team of the Group Stage cards that Rodrigo, was 360k and he was like 410k yesterday between 390 and 400 so the combination of the icon player pick and maybe this alex morgan some strikers are not recovering as fast as other cards are on the market so it's probably not directly impacting strikers as much as like let's say alfonso davies was impacting left backs earlier this weekend but i still think that's a card a lot of people are doing because that card in the early stages of this game alex morgan was really really insane and was very very hyped now let's talk about the big sbc that was the most hyped and guys it was a rare day right i have already completed this sbc that does not happen very often that a day one icon player pick gets completed by the foot accountant but we did it yesterday and i got yeshin which was fine i also got kafu in the player pick if you want to check out some more of those open the second channel on youtube i'll link it right up here as always you can check that out after the video this one and uh we did open some of those they're interesting. The weight was not amazing on the first few. But then, of course, we did have some bangers, some big boy pulls. I was just surprised that EA put the Winter Wild Cards icon into this, right? I thought they would maybe re-release the same icon player pick that they had out uh, last week, two weeks ago. But instead, they went with base, Thunderstruck, or Winter Wild Cards, and they made it cheaper than the previous player pick as well it's only an 86 86 and 87 rated squad only one inform required and it's 294k it was like 275 when it first came out but of course as you would expect it is making fodder prices rise one thing i'll also note is that it is repeatable just one time but it's going to refresh in a couple of days i think this is going to be an sbc 
that is going to refresh pretty consistently. And then once it goes away, I wouldn't be even be surprised in seven days next week if it refreshed again and we can do it multiple times per day next Sunday on this game because it's, that's going to be in the middle of all of our upgrade pack grinding with all the team of the years, all the honorable mentions we hope, and icons and packs at the same time we'll all be grinding trying to pack team of the years and that will be a great sbc to be crafting it is a nice icon player pick for that since you get the most recent version other than what's in packs right now of the winter wild cards icons 71 percent upvoted and since it required a lot of those 86 87 rated cards that's what's up on the market the most 86 is yesterday i'm glad we talked about the 85 to 87 range 86 is right in the middle of that range went crazy they went from like 7,000 coins 7,500 spiked all the way up to 9,000 coins right for content for basically all of these 86s 87s guys I know yesterday I was like man I'd be careful with these because they're almost max price these cards are almost like legit almost max price from 13,000 coins some of them did hit peaks of 16,000 coins some of them 17k yesterday I think when the prices were flying up and a lot of them do have max price ranges of 16 to 18,000 coins. So be careful with these 87s. Even with big lightning rounds yesterday with the team of the midfielders coming into packs, those cards went up a lot. Now, on the higher tier of fodder as well, really interesting situation here. 88s are about 22k, 89s are 36,000 coins. I remember at the content drop, these were all about 33k. And uh, because we had lightning rounds, right? I really think that there's a lot of hype around these exchange SBCs, guys. Like, I think a lot of people are buying the 85 to 89 rated cards and they're putting them in these, especially the 89 rated, because people see like a double walkout out of an 89 rated duplicate storage pack and they're like, oh man, that's sick. Well, you guys saw me open the one on uh, Twitter that I posted and like th these can also be really really bad and you cannot get your value back so it's definitely it's like a gamble pack with one card of fodder which makes it seem so harmless um, and these still I think have their place and they're good but I also think that it's going to keep and keep the prices of 85s to 89s up a little bit because of these cards being um, or these SBCs being available because I look at 90s and I see 50k for 90 rated they didn't go up at all but 89s went up 3k yesterday after the lightning rounds um, kind of subsided and after the like right around content when these dropped and everybody was opening those lightning round packs as that subsided they started to rise I think it's really these duplicate storages so honestly that's going to keep fodder fluctuating a good bit during uh, supply and during lightning rounds it's going to be incredible to be bidding on fodder um, whether it's 85, 6s, 7s, all the way up to 90s, I think, because especially in the 85 to 89 range, you're going to have people that don't like to grind the bids, but you're going to have people that will go out and buy those cards off of the market or put them into SBCs, um, or sorry, buy them off the market to put them into SBC for like a player or to put them into like the exchange upgrade. So there's like double demand for those at the moment. It's kind of a weird situation. We're kind of just watching it unfold and learning what people are valuing with those cards and with those SBCs. Like I mentioned, right? We had those packs in the store, the midfielder specific packs and the 85 times seven. I got to shout that pack out because that was one of the ones again that supplied the new team of the year cards a good amount on the market. Let's talk about those next before we get to the other content from yesterday. Um, the... The team of the year women's cards and the midfielder cards that were dropped for the women and the men's. We've got the cheapest card in the game right now, Oberdorf, at 750,000 coins at the moment. I actually just picked one of these up in the low 740s, hoping that she can rise a bit. It's the cheapest team of the year card. Yeah, it's a decent looking card. Also can play center back, which is very interesting. Um, the, there was a little bit of a movement that was similar to the Friday where the cards were low in that second hour and then it went up in the third hour and then came really far back down. That was the difference between Friday and yesterday on Sunday. Bonmati went from like 4.8 to like 5.7, but is now back down at 4.8. And the same thing with the men's cards. KDB was like 3.7. Um, went up to like four and it is now 3.1 mil. Rodri, uh, like these cards are more rare than the attackers as expected for sure, which is I think keeping their prices a little bit inflated. I don't understand why Rodri is 2.9 mil, the KDB is 3.1. I feel like Rodri should be like 2 million coins and KDB is around like a price that actually makes sense for him. So just kind of keep it in your mind and make it known that these cards are definitely more rare than the attackers were because there were less packs open 100%. Uh, Bellingham's card looks crazy. He's got a max price of 6.6 .6 mil and he's 6.2. Um, we only have one new extinct card from yesterday and that is Puteus. 
Her price range is only 4.75 mil, which is crazy. Um, EA is really trying to build up the hype here, I guess, by putting out a low price range on this card. I think this card could very easily be uh, six to seven million coins. Like if that's how much uh, Hansen is, I think Putea should be right there, if not more, especially being a little bit more rare as we mentioned with less packs open. So we'll see when Puteus gets a price range upgrade, how much he's actually going to go for on the market. But uh, yeah, the most interesting card yesterday is probably Oberdorf, just because of the price, right? For 700,000 coins, you can actually get a team of the year outfield player, which is abnormal, right? This normally is not the case. The cheapest usually is the goalkeeper. And uh, other than that, like there's not that many team of the year cards that ever get to 740K. Uh, but it looks like this year, some of the women's cards may be a little bit cheaper based off the price of San Sam Kerr, Sophia Smith, and Oberdorf, and this is the cheapest one by far. So that's why I'm keeping an eye on her price today. I just think people might want to wake up and try the card out. One quick note on the team of your icons. They have dropped a lot. R9, Ribéry, even Vieira, Zola, and Javi. Like, they dropped yesterday, and check too, of course. They dropped with the supply of those lightning rounds. Um... And of course, they were in packs, right? They're not position specific. Lightning rounds that were affected these really. Maybe Vieira Javi a little bit, but I mean, Ribery's down. That's an attacker. Zola down an attacker. So they got supplied a lot yesterday. And I would just be careful with those because I don't know how much those are going to move between when they go out of packs um, tomorrow on Tuesday and when they will maybe come back into packs on Sunday because we'll have new icons coming in. They might go up a little bit, like probably Ribery and Javi. Maybe, maybe Zola and and a check as well we'll have to keep an eye on that today or especially tomorrow um, on this game uh, with the supply for lightning rounds and stuff like that but the team of their icons did drop yesterday as they were in packs once again and we had supply last thing we had to talk about of yesterday was of course objectives and evolutions not objectives evolutions um we had a new evo yesterday but it's not a surprise right we knew that team of the year unsung hero was going to be coming out it was leaked in its entirety this is exactly the same evo that was leaked before and the players you can put in this yeah there's some decent ones tyler adams is pretty good um there's some okay ones you can fit inside of here it's a it's a really solid boost it is seventy five thousand coins to do but you get a weak foot upgrade you get long ball pass plus in the end as well along with anticipate pinged pass and yeah of course the weak foot upgrade and a pretty sizable stat upgrade right you're getting uh like plus six pace uh nine shooting 11 passing 10 dribbling 10 defense and nine physical like that's a really solid upgrade you take a look at this tuma card here even looks pretty good right um i just think this evo by itself is not that crazy like there's a basuma card that i'm kind of excited for for this um but this is again just another situation where we knew the evo leaks but ahead of time we're not that crazy excited for it because, yeah, you do get some nice cards out of this. You get a Calvin Phillips that looks okay. You get really high-rated cards, though. That's the problem. You can only take a, like gold card and take it to a crazy high level this evo is probably good inside of a chain and that's where a lot of the hype is right now on this game with evolutions and that's a whole new conversation because there are some crazy evos that are possible i don't know if you guys have seen them but there are some absolutely problematic evos that have been made possible with the whole unclaimed evo situation on this game especially with the latest team their visionary and team of their unsung hero so that's going to be a whole other video i'll be dropping that later today on the second channel as well uh, because that needs to have its whole conversation because there is some nuts stuff going on i would say this too if you see any of the cards like that are at the top of footbin um that you see are like up and like adopo is a good one right this is a bronze card that has been very hyped for evos um extinct at ten thousand coins guys i'd be careful with these because this is something that's been going on long enough now that i think ea could patch it very soon i know we've mentioned that but like we're it's going on two weeks that this has been a thing and i think ea would seeing these cards that have been made possible with evos i think they wanted to stop that pretty soon so we're going to talk about that in another video on the second channel again today but let's get to what we're talking about today for this video for the content today it's packs right and you might even know what we're talking about already some of you guys might but the packs that we're looking at today are the upgrade packs yes that is correct today we should be getting the upgrades that we will all be ripping on repeat for the next basically what 10 days or so on this game how long are these exchange spcs out for 11 days the next 11 12 days in this game these upgrade packs are going to be our chance 
at packing a team of the year card and the number of team of the years that has been packed in this game will drastically increase after today because these packs will be made available so these are the league upgrade packs guys there's a premium league SBC and a like regular upgrade pack SBC for these cards and I want to take you through the pack code because there is a little bit of a comparison that we can take and make from this year to last year now of course with the men's and the women's team of the year to make life a little bit simpler they're combining the leagues from the leagues in the same nation right so la liga and liga f premium pack you've got league one and the d1 arkema for the french pack right you've got the premier league and um the barclays women's super league in the same pack and one thing i want to let you notice here is that it's seven common golds and four gold rares right and it's from both of those leagues this is actually a better pack than what we had last year. Last year, the pack that we had was uh, these premium Premier League upgrades, which were eight players and three of them rare. So this year, you're like, wait, Nate, we're getting one less player. Is that better? We're also getting another rare. And I think that that might help because a lot of times you think about the team of the year cards, you feel like the rare cards have the better pack weight to come out as team of the years, right? And since there's four in this instead of three, I think that actually gives you a decent shot, a little bit better, just minuscule, right? Than last year. And then you still have the lower level pack as well, which usually just requires gold commons inside of it, right? This is what we call like the rinse and repeat, the crafting upgrades that we can get. You'll probably have to turn in 11 gold rares for these upgrade packs for each of the leagues that they put out for it, right? You got Bundesliga and you do have the MLS this year, guys. This is actually really exciting. You'll be able to pack Messi and Sophia Smith from an MLS NWSL premium upgrade pack, which is really, really exciting. Um, so we're really looking forward to these packs. Then you're like, Nate, I'm not going to open these today, right? Why would you open these with only the midfielders and packs? No, no. It's not about opening them today. It's about starting to build them. If you're going to be spending coins on packs like this and trying to spend coins in the most efficient way possible during team of the year, this is the way that you do it, right? Gold rares are still 650 coins on bid on the market right now. And I'm going to spend some time. I started doing this already. I've kind of switched from solo trading mode and just trying to get my coins up so also like it's time to start grinding the menus getting a bunch of these gold rares in my club so that i am ready for when these packs come out because by the time these packs come out you're going to start to see gold rares start to rise a little bit because people are going to start as you can see they're already bidding 650 and i'm getting a little bit of competition here gold rares are going to be rising they might not rise a ton but there's going to be more competition as people start to craft and build these upgrade packs before the actual team of the year, the full team of the year is in packs. And that is the best way to get started with these. If you're going to spend a lot of coins, like we're talking, if you're going to spend 500K or more on these sorts of upgrade packs, which is probably the best way to spend a lot of coins on packing a team of the year, and then also get a lot of fodder to rinse into like 83 times 10s, 84 times 5s, uh, the 83 5 attackers or midfielders SBCs, right? And also get the icon SBC done, icon player SBCs, flashback SBCs. This is like the team of the year crafting grind when everybody talks about they get so many packs to open and they have so much fodder. This is kind of like the rinse and repeat method. You buy the gold rares, you put them into the premium pack, and then from there, you rinse into the, all the, the other upgrades. Whether you want to go to a specific league upgrade for the lower tier one, right? Not the premiums, but the lower tier. Or you want to go into some sort of like player pick, the 81 double that are out, right? That way you have a chance of packing all the team of the years from all the different leagues. There's tons of different crafting methods, but it all starts with the premium upgrade pack so i want to kind of share a little bit of math as well i was looking it up especially for the premier league and the women's super league kind of like how many players are available one thing we have to talk about this year is are these team of the years going to be harder to pack from upgrades and my honest answer is guys i think so and i i know we have more team of the year cards in packs but we have so many more gold cards that are in packs as well and we've seen that all year long it's if you look year over year fodder prices are a lot cheaper like 85s last year right around team of the year i think when they hit like 10,000 coins like they were max price at 10k yes because of some of the crazy sbcs but 85s this year they haven't been over like what seven what was their, they were 9,000 coins at one point in the year but especially in the last couple of months they've only been between four and five four and six thousand coins like fodder is cheaper overall this year for the most part not for the higher tier i don't think but for the most part, it's a little bit cheaper. And I think that's just because we have a lot more supply. I did the math, right? Getting back to the math. I checked from FIFA 23 
all the way to FC24 comparing how many gold rares and non-rares we have for the specific packs, right? Last year in this pack, right? In the Premier League pack, which was again, it was three rares and eight commons. There were a total of 388 gold Premier League cards, and there were three team of the years that you could pack, right? Now, there were some other honorable mentions that were out as well. I think there were four honorable mentions from the Premier League, but there were three team of the years, four honorable mentions, and 388. So, like a three and 388 chance. We know it's not exactly that easy of math because it, they don't pop out of the packs that often, right? But this year, with the Women's League and the Men's League in the same packs, you have 501 501 players from the men's and women's English leagues, um, but you have eight team of the year. So eight over 501 versus three over 388 for like a fraction. You think that the pack weight would be better for team of the years this year, which again, that's a whole nother conversation. We already talked about how the, the supply on these cards seems to be a little bit more than in previous years. But when you're going off the numbers and the odds, there's a lot more golds that are in packs because you really, I know I just mentioned the fraction, but you can't look at it like a fraction. Um, yes, there are more team leaders in packs and even the women's cards seem to have a lower pack weight, but I don't think that they're going to be easier to pack this year. Like from these upgrade packs, at least because they're going to be more diluted with golds, right? Because there's so many more golds in the game. So that's what I'm trying to get at. Um, we're still going to grind these upgrades though, because like look at all the fodder cards. If you don't pack a team of the year, yeah, you still have chances at getting a bunch of 86, 87, 88 rated cards and a bunch of 85s, right? And all of those are going to go into SBCs. It is still worth, even with these upgrade packs, spending the coins to do these upgrade packs, the premium ones, um, to craft other SBCs like Bruno, Davies, Alex Morgan, or again, like the icon player pick and stuff like that, the icon SBCs like Best, Zico, Cafu, whatever you're trying to do. These SBCs unlock the whole crafting method. But I just think this year, um, there's so much more supply on the market. I think that's going to hurt the pack weight just a little bit. But with that being said, um, gold rares, 650 coins. That's as low as they're going to get. And I think this is the time to prepare. That's why you see me starting to buy these cards. In the past couple of years, I've gone unassigned. My transfer list is almost full already. I don't like going unassigned because I can't open packs in the meantime. So I got to decide what I'm going to do with that. Because going on a sign will save you a lot of coins, especially if I'm going to spend like a million or so coins on these upgrade packs, like it'll save you a lot of coins. If these golds go to like 800, 900 coins a piece by the time we get to like Thursday or Friday when you're building these, but you're building them all right now for 650, when you're making a million coins worth of packs, that's going to save you a couple hundred K um, making the packs for to make like a hundred packs. It'll save you a good amount of coins if you make them beforehand or if you at least buy as many players as you can beforehand. So that's kind of the situation that you have to decide if you're going to go in on those. And even if you're not going to do a ton of those packs, those are probably still the best, as we mentioned, upgrade packs to do during this game. But other than that content today, I think that's going to be the biggest thing we get for content today. Kind of pull it full circle. The other SBC I feel like is very possible today too is the 85 or 83 times 5 midfielders upgrade. We got the 83.5 um, for attackers over the weekend as well. I think we're going to get the 83.5 for midfielders dropped as well. Make sure I'm going to do these. Uh, I'm going to spend the coins, right? We have, that's like kind of how I said, I've changed, flipped the switch from like trading mode, not spending any coins on packs to like, all right, it's team of the year crafting time. We're going to have to spend some cash. I believe yesterday after I had those really good flips that I was talking about in last night's video, we got up to about 4.3 million coins, maybe close to four and a half uh, of worth. And that means that I'm really gung-ho on spending about 3 million coins on upgrade packs. If I can spend enough time to buy all the players and get all that grinded and crafted out during team of the year. So that way we do 3 million coins of packs, try to pack as many team of the years as we can, and then craft as many SBCs as we can as well. There should be multiple times here in the store where we've got well over 100 packs made. It's going to be a blast. It's going to take a lot of time to craft, um, but that's kind of part of the team of the year grind. And I'm really excited for excited for today to kind of start that. So that's a big conversation to say that upgrade packs are coming today. I also think that we should get a player pick. Um, and I think, did I just see that the 8310? No, the 8310 is not expiring. It's the 83 times five. The 84 times five is still available as well. So these SBCs are here until like the end of the week. So make sure you're still doing these as much as you can. Like the team of the year pack save has still kept on going for me as I'm not opening all my packs yet. We're waiting for that Friday time zone. Maybe Thursday we'll start opening a few too. But really we're just waiting for the full team of the year and all the extras 
to be released. But today's the beginning of that preparation. So is today going to have anything else other than a couple upgrade SBCs, though, is a real question. And honestly, I think that it might be pretty quiet. Mondays, especially with this FC Pro Live stuff they've been going on. It seems like on Mondays, guys, EA just wants us to watch the FC Pro Live event and care about that and the content inside of the game, even though it's team of the year. Like, I think they're going to want us to focus on that. Of course, there are the rumors still. Sawa is leaked. Conte is leaked as well. But guys, I'm going to be completely honest. I don't expect Conte at the very earliest, like maybe tomorrow. But unless we have another flashback SBC leak, I think Conte would be our Friday SBC. It's a big name player, right? That's an SBC so many people would be interested in. That might not be until Friday. Sal was a huge name as well. They know EA knows that she's very hyped and very overpowered in this game. So whenever she gets her team of the year SBC too, it's going to be crazy. I guess there's a slight chance that it could be today, but today might only be the upgrade packs. But I should touch on the FC Pro Live stuff since that is going on, just so you guys are aware. The cards that are live today with potential upgrades on the line, Delhi Ali, you've got Koulibaly. These some of these are already inflated, by the way, so I'm not buying any of these. To me, I'm not even honestly paying attention to these cards that much. No offense, um, but these cards to me... Team of the year is greater than that. So that's just what I'm saying. Uh, but Anders is playing today. So if any of you guys are like invested in um, Simicon, Anders is playing today. So watch out for that. Again, the last couple are uh, Lozano. It's Lozano, Simicon, Ogbana, Koulibaly, and Deli Ali. So those are all the players that are playing today with upgrades on the line. So we had some prices that moved last week. Uh, there could be a few that move this week as well, depending on who wins and, and all that stuff. So I won't pay attention to a ton of that today, but there will be some movements probably on the market for sure. Selling the hype would be uh, my advice there without really watching the games too much would just be selling the hype because most of those cards will end up dropping down instead of going up. Now, really quickly, we mentioned that the uh, icon pick moved the market a little bit, right? There were some good flips yesterday, but since that icon pick was so hype, it definitely did impact prices. I just quickly looked up Joao Felix because that was a card that I had pulled up here. He was like 600,000 coins yesterday, right? The market's been doing so well the last couple of days with the out-of-pack specials just rising, rising, rising Thursday, right? He was 520. He hasn't had that big of a rise as other cards have, right? Let me just show you a card that has gone up like crazy. Company. I thought I was so cool selling this card for, um, what I sell it for? 689 on, I think it was Friday morning. I sold it right here, yeah, for like 689. I thought, oh, dude, I'm sick, man. He went down to 580, but then he went to 700K. And then now uh, he's like 718K again. Look at this card yesterday, right? From 700K down to 660 and then back up to 700. That icon player pick yesterday did impact the market. Like it did make some cards drop. And there were definitely some that rebounded, but it does feel like the, the market had a little bit of, um, it, without better terms, like the life sucked out of it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the market take, took a hit yesterday and it's not fluctuating maybe as great. But with today being a little bit of a slower day, you could see some more good fluctuations. I would also be a little bit worried that the upgrade packs would kind of turn people from the gameplay side of things, like we mentioned, maybe into a little bit of a menu craft SBC um, mindset once again. Maybe a decent time to look at some fodder if you want to go there. I know a lot of it's inflated, but hey, you know, it definitely could go higher. There's a huge amount of SBC demand on this game right now. So that's something I'd watch out for. Today in this game, the market might slow down a little bit this week, but also it could mean that once people start opening their upgrade packs and they start crafting, once they kind of run out of the fodder in their club to do those upgrade SBCs until the weekend when they're probably going to open more packs, you know, things might pick back up on the market on the lower tier to middle tier, right? So definitely keep an eye on the market. The one tip that I would give you is out of pack slipping still should be good. Yesterday I bought a Ramirez for 900 and I bought a Rudiger for 300. So small flips there. Um, but get on bids like the flip, the fluctuations maybe aren't going to be as crazy if we have all these upgrade SBCs at route and people are putting their coins into that. Uh, but the market will still move and bids just help you get a lot lower prices on cards because it just seems like people don't want to grind the market. But if you do, then you're going to end up reaping the rewards, whether it's bidding on the fodder during the lightning rounds, like the nineties right now, I'm tempted to go and pick up a couple and see if I can snag a couple of Harry Canes or Benzema's at like 48 47,000 like like they just, like like what is this bro like i know this is not going to expire for 11,000 coins but yeah i'm going to drop a bit on that because like even these right here you know maybe i need to actually watch this i doubt that this is going to go for that cheap but you know what i'm saying like 
these bids, there's not as many people on and there was supply today from lightning rounds. So that's just something to keep an eye on, I think. And I think that'll help you make some extra coins. My example is the Hyunmin Sun that I bought yesterday for a million, sold it for 1.4, that sort of thing. So the market's okay. That's what, that's the, that's the middle ground that we'll kind of end on is that the market is doing okay right now. And, um, yeah, really, this game is just about the team of the year packs. And today it heats up, right? I've still got 28 packs here in the store. I'm opening two 83 times 10s per day. And I am saving the other one to kind of build up the stash that I have. Anything that's 83 and above, I'm trying to save as well. And then I opened my midfielders packs yesterday, got nothing. Um, but I think we will get more midfielders packs today on this game that we can save for later on in the week or still open right now. Now, but that's kind of the update. That's what we're expecting for the game today. I don't expect a crazy day, guys, but upgrade packs means good things. So if you're going to do a lot of those, start preparing, bid on those gold rares, even stock your club with gold commons. They probably won't go up as much, but gold commons could be a really good club stock as well as we get into the day today. I'm going to watch these Harry Canes, see what they go for and bid. If I can get them for under, I don't know. 45k i'd be freaking stoked but that's the video for today guys if you did enjoy drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new check out the second channel for a couple of uploads recently dropped and i will see you in the video tomorrow on this channel as always the daily uploads it's been nathan with account and catch you guys there peace